with uh, Saul and Diana from Yahweh Farms here at the Market of McAllen. And here they have something for me as the food educator. Let's see what they're giving me today. Okay, this is our first week of the CSA for, for the season 2012-2013. And um, this is kind of a little bit smaller than we do. The baskets are usually a lot filler, but we have a head of lettuce and a, um, a head of bok choy. Beautiful. You have some pea pods for your stir fry. Nice. We have about a pound, pound and a half of some yellow crooked cut squash. A little bit of fruits, citrus oranges from our farm. Some radishes. Nice, this will be great in our salad. This is not ready yet, Libby, but in a few days it will be put it in a brown paper bag. Uh, it's an avocado. Beautiful. And an eggplant. Awesome. And we have some pecans for your salad. You'll have to work on that a little bit too. But um, this is what we have in our basket for the first week. For the first week. Yeah. Right. So this is a CSA. And this is a CSA. It'll go for 30 weeks. And what we do is we harvest what we have. And you get six to eight different things in the bag. And then the following week what they do is they, they'll bring an empty bag. And we'll bring them a full bag. Take the bag. And then in the, in the different drop offs, um, we have one at the Major Foods, we have one at McAllen uh, Farmers Market, the uh, Harlingen Farmers Market, the Westlake Chamber of Commerce, uh, the House Wine uh, Restaurant in McAllen. Uh, and the Wessico Farmers Market. Wow, so there's a lot of drop-off places to be able to get sign up for your CSA programs. And this is just a sample of what you get. Every month it changes, so you get a variety of different things. And so I'm going to be putting in a recipe in there for you as the food educator to help you know what to do with some of these local fresh veggies that are grown right here in the Valley, chemical free, from farmers just like Diana and Seoul. Well, we appreciate you guys so much because we really need more access to healthy, locally grown food. And without you, we wouldn't have it. Well, I'm pretty sure that by uh, if you log into Facebook to your web, Fujicator, or your website, thefujicator.com, yes, um, Libby will have something that she's putting together, give you some ideas on how to make what you receive that week. That's right. Great. Well, thank you guys, and we'll see you at the market every Saturday at the market at McAllen, soon to be at the brand new library in McAllen. So stay tuned and watch for our next episode to keep connected to the local food movement.